what up youtube welcome back to my channel it's your boy d dyson today i wanted to review creed 2 and i really enjoyed creed 2 it had a lot of emotion in it michael b jordan sylvester stallone and tessa thompson all reprised the role in from creed 1 to creed 2 and adonis creed rocky balboa and bianca man this was an interesting aspect that I, I know everybody was going to check out. I just knew everybody was going to check out because when they got to see the trailer, when you saw Ivan Drago's son, everybody was like, yep, you know I'm coming to go see this. It was it was really, really good. It was more emotional than anything. And one thing I liked about this movie was it, it showed a lot of heart and it showed a lot of depth within the characters, more so than the fighting. They showed heart and emotion in this movie. Watching from Creed 2 to Creed 1, Creed 1 showed a lot more. You know, I know when Ryan Coogler directed it, and that's probably why um, his his direction for Creed 1 was, you know, the one fight scenes and the, the, the fights felt real and he brought the emotion. So in Creed 2, they just expanded on the emotion and the heart of the movie instead of the fight scenes and the choreography. Of course, the fight scenes were still good, but it was kind of like that quick jump. Like, man, you're not going to see the whole thing. You're just going to see, you know, they're going to do like at least 10, 20 seconds. And then, you know, the round's done. Stuff like that. So, yeah, they did a lot of fight scenes, especially when he won the, the heavyweight championship. I was just like, yeah, it just starts off, you know, he wins the championship and now he's a champion. I was just like, I, I kind of wish they would have played more into that. Um, another interesting dynamic that I wish they would have did a lot more in they did a good job going into Dolph Lundgren's character, Ivan Drago, you know, to see what happened to him after Rocky IV. Like, you know, Rocky IV was in 88, and you get to see where Ivan Drago ended up all these years ever since that fight. You know, he was a disgrace. He's living in the projects and some huge, you know, just shithole, and he's training his son to be a boxer. That interesting dynamic of how disgraced he is and how bitter he is towards Rocky for what happened in Rocky IV. And... He carries that with his son. The only thing I didn't like is that they didn't have more screen time with Ivan Drago's son. They didn't care enough to see what he wanted and how he felt. Especially when Bridget Nelson came as his mom, you know, it was like, oh yeah, you know, his mom left us, she left us. And then when you finally see her, he gets all upset. And even when they're fighting, you know, when he's fighting Adonis and he begins to start losing and she leaves. It's like, man, you know, just like, it didn't show any emotion or anything like that. It just cut to another scene. I'm just like, man, I wish they would have showed more of him and more screen time for him to show his emotion and what he felt and what he thinks of all of this. You know, it just focused primarily on Ivan Drago and that was it. You know, it's just like, yeah, this is Ivan Drago and this is his son, Victor. That's it. And I'm just kind of like, man, I wish you know, Victor would have had more screen time than to see what he think, you know, because this is Ivan Drago's son. Maybe later on, you know, Victor and, and Adonis, because I feel like they're going to make a Creed 3. I just know that Creed is probably going to be working with Ivan Drago's son. And it's like, they're going to be linked up. They kind of be training partners and stuff like that. And, and then they're going to fight some new baddie or something like that. You know, it's just going to look weird. But at the same time, I give this an 8 out of 10. You know, because you had to take so much with Bianca being pregnant, having a kid and, you know, having a baby. They cut all that time into like two minutes. OK, yeah. One time she she found out she's pregnant. Then next time you see her with a baby bump, another scene with her, then you seeing that she's having a baby. You know, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I mean, which I get it. You got to squeeze it in and within the time frame. But it was just kind of cheesy on that part of just don't do that, you know. Either she should have came in the movie already pregnant, you know, and then had the baby, but I don't know. And I know it, what really got me really emotional was when he found out that his daughter is deaf, just like Bianca, you know, trying to go through the auditory test. And, you know, it was like, so you could tell it was a lot of emotion put in and, and thought put into that movie because that's real moments. That's real. It's humanizing Adonis Creed and seeing what he's fighting for. And I really enjoyed that. Another thing is that they didn't, you know, how Adonis always blows off Rocky. Like, you know, it's like, you know, Sylvester Stallone getting old. You don't know if Rocky's going to be around. You know, he could just die at any given time. You know, you don't know. So they just kind of blew Rocky off. Like, yeah, go away, old man. Like, you know, just like, so 
I wish they expounded upon that aspect a lot more in this movie than they did. Um, but overall, like I said, it's still a great movie. It's still, don't take any of that to heart. It's still a hugely successful, great movie. This, like I said, it has a lot of emotion. So if you like my review of Creed 2, post a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. It is your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.